Our courage doesn't come from ourselves and it doesn't come from within. Our courage comes from the courage of others. It's that whole concept of inspiration. It's that whole concept of why we read books and we read blogs and websites and we talk with people and we connect and we try to share and expand not only our ideas but learn from the ideas of others because that's where the motivation, the the that wow factor, that peace, that passion that kind of keeps us going in our lives. And yes, you have to be the one that pulls the trigger within yourself, but we can't do it alone. And I know that we hear that all the time and it requires teamwork and commitment and family and friends, but I don't think it's a, a statement, at least for me anyways, where we truly process it. I think we hear it because we've heard it so long, but we're not truly listening to the power of that message that we need other people. You know, I, I think what we have to think about, you know, and it's, it's, it's another topic that's all over, is that mindset, you know, moving away from the fix to the growth, and it's something that I struggle with, we all struggle with. But what we have to do when we don't think we can do it anymore, and we're thinking about quitting, is trying to ask ourselves why. Why are we doing what it is that we're doing? Why is it that we are under this challenge to the levels of frustration, or to the levels where we don't think that we can go on. And that's what you have to ask yourself. You know, if you're doing it for money, then I think that's the wrong reason. If you're doing it because you're being forced to, that's the wrong reason. If you're doing it because it's something that you passionately believe, something that you truly want to do, something that can leave a legacy, make a change, make an impact, and something that you believe is, is a part of who you are, then you have to do it. You have to continue to fight and go through it because as I've stated in many places, we don't learn and we don't move mountains by staying in our comfort zone. And I think that's something that I personally can attest to because I feel like I've been stuck in a comfort zone. And so I'm seeking ways in which to challenge myself and it's not fun. It's, it's, it's not easy, but the only way we can make impact and grow as a person and connect with others and, and do the things that help us lead a fulfilling life is to get outside that comfort zone and push ourselves to see what we're made of. And so that's what I want you to think about. That's what I want you to process here a little bit. It's something that I'm going to process. Uh, I need to probably follow up with a blog post on what those boundary pushes are. If you've been following along, you know I've been trying to write a book. It's been a, a five-year failure, but within the last three weeks, I've really gotten a lot accomplished. So that's definitely going to be something. And the book is based, really, I guess when I think about it, the challenges that I'm setting forth for myself. And so um, maybe look forward to that. Leave me ideas of your thoughts on this short little insight. And... Um, Let's keep working together to inspire us, give each other courage, and to help one another get ourselves outside that comfort zone to create change. Have a great day, everybody.